Allison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner step by step so you can follow along with me in real time. And today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful flower and flower pot. It came second in my voting for my subscribers on YouTube and they decided that this would be the second one. Most of the votes came in for the owl which is uh, it's up now and um, so let's get started painting. Now all you need for this painting is the colors of red, yellow, and blue as your primary colors, and white and black, so and some brown and green. So if you have the burnt umber, sap green, ultramarine blue, cad red and cad yellow, um, that will be good, but you can use whatever you want to use, whatever colors you have there, as long as you got your primary colors and some brown and green and white and black, that would uh, be all you would need. Now let's get our filbert brush, try a few flowers. Now, see the nice background brings out the nice greens. We can highlight them again. Um, the small filbert brush that I have here, I'm going to take the back of my brush and I'm going to tap into some green, a little bit of yellow. That's all I'm doing. i got a messy palette here, so I'm just tapping into my green, tapping into my yellow. And, and then I'm going to make a center for one of my flowers to get us started. Let's put one right here. Okay, so it's a, it's a center for your flower. Okay, if it's not green enough, just tap in a bit of green there and, and yellow. That's your center. All right, and... Good. And now let's take our filbert and put you need shadow and when you got white you need some shadow color. Alright, so let's go with white. And um, if you got a dirty brush, you don't really need to do much of anything else, but you can add a tiny bit of green for your shadow color in your white. All right, let's try that. Let's see, let's see. We'll just take our brush this way. Okay, not that way for now. Just flip it up like this. And then we'll take one here, one here, one here. So it's just touch and pull. Touch, push and pull or touch and pull and then we'll do another one in between those and keep going. Now you can put any kind of flowers you want here, okay? So I'm just putting some flowers in here. Yep, you can put whatever you want. I'm just putting some more between what I already did to fill them up a little bit. There we go. It kind of gives it a nice full flower look. All right, and then we're going to take some yellow. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a toothpick and put little yellow dots on that. So you can put some green on there first if you like. And then some yellow. Yellow, yellow, come out. So you use a toothpick, it gives you a little more control, so you don't have to try to get that brush to, to do what you want it to do. Okay, so that's that one. We're going to highlight that now in a little while. Some of these petals overlap each other. Right? And I'm trying to get you to see them. There they are. And you can. So they, they overlap, so you can see little bits of green in there and yellow, see, in between. Now these are fake flowers, so I mean, you know, you can do whatever kind of flowers you want. See the green in there and the yellow? See that? Isn't that cute? And see the shadows and the way the leaves are? All right. 
so you know try to get it as close as you can if you want to or just use it as a reference so don't worry too much so what we're going to do is add some more all right we'll add some more and they sort of go all around so let's put in another dip the end of your brush uh, your uh, the end of your brush here and let's go find somewhere else where you want to put another flower I don't know let's put one right here and let's try that one so pick up some white on your dirty brush so you have a little bit of a shadow and then put in some more petals one this time you can just touch if you like look see that you can overlap the one you have there it's okay just touch and touch and then go in between just to get it nice and full touch 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 I just need more paint that's all there we go now natural eyes we'll be adding more leaves and things to it uh, or new I'm sorry more shadows and stuff so with the filbert you can just touch and, and it'll make the leaves for you okay so put some green in the middle here so we can have a little center and then we'll take our toothpick We'll add some little bits of yellow. We'll be able to do more of that now when it dries because when it's wet it'll just probably just blend in with the green. So where else? Let's see. Let's see. Um, maybe there's one over here on this edge. Okay, so you put on this first and it'll make it so much easier for you. All right, so pick up your white with a little bit of green or anything that's on it there and get a bit of a shadow and just put in touch touch see how that's making the leaves for you good and this one could be becoming behind that one or it could be in front of it doesn't matter okay so there we go so make your leaves petals all right. Now, if you get a smaller filbert fill brush, you want smaller pebbles. You get a smaller filbert brush. You might be saying, "Can you do that with a flat brush?" I would say, "Give it a try." Good, and then we'll put the dark center in there. We'll come back and we'll let's see where else can we have one. Let's put one up here. There we go. So I'll put a petal up here. Touch and pull, touch and pull, touch and pull, touch and pull. Good. And then touch. You can touch and pull or just touch. See what your brush does for you. Good. Okay, now another one here just in between what you already did just to make it look more full I'm just putting them over what you already did see that gives the fullness to it oh sorry about that too bad I don't have a camera person to help me out mm, anyway that's it that's why I'm glad I have my Patreon page now because I know that some people are going to help support my channel and then I'll be able to get some help. My uh, Patreon page link is there if you want access to these paintings, full paintings, like full, like this is going to be in step by step, probably six lessons. But if you want to support my channel, uh, for a dollar a month, I will make sure that you get the full painting. It might be an hour or whatever, and um, 
you'll get them before it comes out on YouTube. So you'll get them before anybody else. And any patterns that you need to my paintings and all kinds of good stuff there. Then I might be able to get put together something nice for a nice uh, videos. Make my videos even better again. There we go. We're getting there. And I'm thinking we could have a couple where I'm just going to do probably um, something up there just to fill up that spot. So I'll put it back. I think I'll put something in there just to help guide me. There we go. And I am going to put one here, one here, here, here. Here, then just touch, right? Like I said, you can have whatever you want on those, right? And maybe we'll have one more here, and maybe one more here. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Touch, 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 and touch. All right. Touch, touch. I'm adding a little bit of color to it. Look at that. Yellow. That's cute. Nothing wrong with that. The more color the better. You can have red ones and yellow ones and orange ones and whatever you want. You can have them wherever you want. Yeah. Alright. So I think I'm going to let them dry some green on here and here and here just to get uh, a bit of a darkness in the center here so I can put those yellows on there. Then we'll highlight them and we'll do whatever touch-ups we need. See where it goes from there. So looking at it, I think we need probably a couple more here. Let's see, let's see. Maybe another one here. Maybe another one. Let's try this one first. The only way you're going to know how it looks if you put them on there and see, you know, because you want to fill them out. We don't want to I'm make them full. They could be sticking out from behind and different things like that. So wherever you put your center, then you can work around that. There we go. Another one is kind of pink. Almost a pink color, isn't that cute? There we go. There we go. Now another one here, here. Maybe that's overlapping that one. Just touching. And I'm going between. I already did. You've got more paint when you need it. As long as you get to the center, it's a lot easier. It's getting more full there now. It's getting more full. Let's throw a few leaves in there as if there were some in the background. You know, wherever you want them. Just to fill it up, fill up the space. That's better. More full looking. It's cute. That is cute. You can have more or less. All right, let's let that dry now and put on some of our little last minute details. So, as you can see, it looks pretty nice, and um, we need to make the table a little shinier looking. Take some blue paint and put on a bit of blue paint here, and it'll sort of give you a, like as if there's a reflection from the pot. Alright, so just to give it that shiny look to your table, because the table's pretty black, so you don't want it to be too black. And a little bit of blue. And, let's see, 
gives a kind of a I'm not pushing very hard because I want to still have some of that dark table still there so there we go and the lights coming in on this side so the shadow will be over there so let's pull a bit of blue over here keep a bit of shadow on the back there see that kind of gives it um, reflection so if you want to make a reflection add a bit of brown to a bit of brown to that blue and then just pull in a few of these little streaks just to think it might be just might be a bit of reflection on the table there we go good maybe it's a bit of reflection on the table from the pot just a little bit Now what we need are some shadows from the leaves coming down off the pot. So just take, because the leaves are green and we just want to darken them to make a shadow, let's take our green color, add a bit of blue to it and a little bit of maybe a little tiny bit of brown just to make a shadow. So, we're going to make a shadow as if it's coming down here. Alright, just little streaks. Okay. Let's get this. I want to make sure you can see it. Alright. And we got shadows everywhere, so let's see, let's see. There's a little shadow coming out of here. And shadows are funny, so you can certainly play with your shadows and just make them come down. And you got your darks over here, so you can have some shadow maybe right here up your color and your shadows can be wherever you want even though there's light shining in but underneath you're going to get some shadows from the plants right good so wherever you think you need shadow now now how that looks really nice now don't be too concerned with being exactly like mine, okay? Because you can probably make it even nicer than mine. Because I'm doing a video, so I can't, you know, spend all day picking at this flower and that flower. And, and you know, some people do, and then they just, you know, uh, time lapse their, their videos so that, you know, you can see how, how perfect it is at the end. But I don't want to do it that way. I kind of like doing it the way I'm doing it. Uh, whether it's good or bad, I hopefully it's good. I get a lot of good comments from people saying that, they can follow along with my videos because I explain everything and that. So that's the way I want to keep it for you. And I think we're going to highlight those flowers. And I think that should do it. And then you can add or take away or do whatever you want with it, okay? So let's just highlight those flowers a little bit and then I'll let you go. Alright, so let's take our toothpick with our yellow. And come in and take put some yellows in there, little dots of yellow. Give it a little more of a realistic look. Good. You can even dip it into a bit of white too, it's not yellow enough. There we go. Hopefully you can see that okay. Little dots of yellow. Like I say, you can have any flowers you want. Just doing this for the video. Try to make it easy for you. I think uh, that's not bad and then I'll take a little bit of white on a clean filbert brush so we can get nice bright highlight see 
just a little bit here and there. I don't think I'm going to go too crazy. A little bit here and there. Just little touches. And just brighten it up a little bit. So, I'm put a little bit of reddish color on that one. I think adding color is really nice too, you know. Instead of having just pure white. Whatever you want to do. And if you got to fix up some of the petals, if they look funny or they don't look right, then just fix them up as you go along. Just touching. Yep. Yeah. And just a little bit here. Just gonna touch, 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 touch. My brush should give me nice petals as you touch. Put a couple in between that one just to fill it out a bit. <laughs> I better leave them alone, I'm going to make a mess. Like I say, I'm doing a video, so I'm just trying to... There we go. I don't want to time lapse it. I could easily time lapse this and, and come back and it will be perfect. But I'm not going to do that. I might do it someday for a bit of fun. I don't know how you feel about that. I might. I love experimenting and having fun with my videos. It's so much fun because you guys are watching and give me fantastic compliments and comments. and You're encouraging me, actually. So I think I'm going to call that finished. Like I say, you can finish it uh, whatever way you want to. There we go. A little bit different from this. It's this is the reference that I used, my flower that I have here. So I use that. And this is the other one that I did. Oops. So they're a little different, but you know, at least you got some techniques and, and what to use and how to do it. And uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, you can leave a like or a comment below if you have any questions or anything. If you want my patterns or anything like that, just email me at alisonpryor at yahoo.com and you can send me your paintings too. I love looking at them. So you guys have a great painting day and I'll see you in the next video. Signing out, Alison Pryor. <laughs>